Hey you! I hope this finds you well. Shiba here and welcome to Tech Savvy. So, I know if you've come across a book or a novel or a magazine or a newspaper, you've seen those documents numbered, like having page numbers either at the bottom or at the top. I don't know if you've ever wondered how designers get to number those pages, but in today's video, I want to show you how you can number your pages in, in design, either your book or your novel or your storybook or a magazine or anything that you're working on that requires page numbering. So in today's blog, we are going to learn how you can insert numbers into your document. Secondly, we'll be learning how to create master pages. A master page is basically a template, a guide that has fixed attributes that you can apply in various documents. For instance, if you have a book and you want the page numbers at the top and at the top right, for example, and then on the left, the name of the author or the title of the book and you want it to apply to all pages, you can create a master page that will act as a template and then you can apply the master to all pages of the book and you can actually save the master so that you can use it for another document. So I already have my InDesign software opened so let's begin. You go to file on your control panel, you go to file new document you want to create a new document i won't uh, advise anyone to tamper with this these settings unless you're having um you're creating a document of different sizes then you can change maybe the sizes but everything else let's have it fixed so click ok and here you have your page now this page if i have content on this page and maybe it requires page numbering but if you look at my page it's empty it has no page numbers it has nothing and it's if I export it will basically be as blank as it is with the document just within the margins so if I want to create page numbers and maybe headers and footers I basically come to the page panel on my right at the top where you have pages, layers, links, stroke, everything there, including the paragraph styles and everything. So if I click on pages, you see it already shows me I have one page because it's actually one page. If you look at the top, you have a page named none, named none, and then below it there is a master. So if I double click on a master, it, it brings up two pages because if I want to create a master page, I'll have to create a master pages for facing pages. The first and the, the second are page on the right and on the left. So it brings up two, two pages. Okay, so uh, the next thing you have to do you come to the tools panel on your left, you go to the rectangular frame tool, click on that, you will left click on that, and then you come to where you want your your headers and footers to be. Basically the master page is about creating headers and footers for, you, for your document. So for instance, if I want uh, a document that has the author's name on the left page, and then the title of the book on the right page, I simply take the rectangular front tool and create a text box, a tiny, a thin text box on the top and then duplicate the same on the other side. However, make sure it doesn't go beyond your, your margins, your page margins. Okay, so if you look at this, it has thin lines, thin, thin and dotted lines, meaning you can add things, you can add stuff, you can write whatever it is that you want. So for instance, let's say I wrote
wrote a book entitled in design tutorials I want in design tutorials on the right and then on the left I mean and then on the right my name there you go so we are good if I go back to my if you go back and click on pages and then right click on that you'll see actually my name on the right page and because it's one page then the left page doesn't show anything because it's not there anyway so if i go back to my master so for that you've created the headers the headers it's anything that you want you can have your pages page numbers at the top you can have your titles at the top yeah for that okay so let's say for instance i want to have page numbers at the bottom of this so i take my rectangular frame tool come to the bottom create text boxes two text boxes on the right and on the left because if i have a document with more than one page then it will have page numbers on the right and on the left so for page numbers it works different I have to write an attribute for instance I want my documents to read page one actually the words page and then one on the other side so I have to write page and then I come to type a little type I come to insert special character and then go to markers and then current page number it brings the letter A that means it will insert the current page number I go to this other side and do the same come to type insert special character sorry I have to write page forgot that then type insert special character markers current page number so if i go to my to my page panel and then click on that if you actually look at it it's written page one let me zoom that out page one you see so let me edit my master so there's actually space between the word and the page number and then i want this to be aligned to the left yeah. Let's go back you see it actually changes and there you go so if you do this it will automatically add page numbers and your headers and footers to your other pages that you have created okay so there you go you have your page numbers so what you can do is if you want so this becomes your master page that is why it's written a master if you have a let me zoom this out it's written a master meaning that like a master key you can use that to duplicate other masters and even to add to to paste the same attributes in other pages in your consequent pages so basically through that you've created your master page and you've also added page numbers created an automatic page numbering section to your to your document so let's add page layout pages insert a page let's say insert one page before page one yeah you see we inserted a page before the first page so it became numbered page one page one and then if we go down to our next page it's numbered page two 
there you go so your master is automatic it automatically numbers your pages